Hello guys! This is, as we all know, it's the design of the theme, fonts, color, structure, etc. In this video, we will dive into two main sections. How to style the theme using CSS variables and how to enable the features in Bartner's Porto. Let's make the file in the CSS. Under the source folder, go to the assets, in styles, you can make any file that you want under any folder. Let's say I'm gonna make a file for settings. So I'm gonna create a new file. Let's say I'm gonna create a file for color. In this file, you can add any CSS that is related to the colors. And to share these colors to all over the page, you need to add it to app.css here. We already added in the Z1 settings, so to don't type it from the scratch, type, click the name and paste it here. Just change the name slash colors.css. Save. Go to the layouts, the masters, the app.css is already in the master layout so you don't need to link it. If it's not in there, you can do it. Just add any class here in the color CSS file. Okay, this is for the first section for the CSS. The second one, go to the partner portal. Go to the themes that we have you have created. In this section, enter the theme features. By checking this, you will provide this feature to the merchant. You allow this feature to the merchant. By unchecking it, you will not allow this feature to, to the merchant. Let's say I want I don't need the store font allowed by the merchant. I don't need the merchant to choose the font of that theme. So I can uncheck this and click on update. Okay. If another thing, if I want to do any update on these features, such as YouTube, I may uncheck this and do an update. I may add in my custom features such YouTube. I may make it a new component. So check, uncheck this and update. Make it a new component. Just to notice if you want to build a similar feature for one of the those, try to provide all the features that in the same features to meet more measurement requirements. Okay, this is it for CSS variables. Thank you. See you in next.